Welcome to another episode of Profile. Today we'll be doing a brief overview of a Eurorack sequencer from Matthias Herman of Phonotronic. The MH11 ADC pattern sequencer has eight step controls labeled 1 through 8 on the main panel. Each step has a manual control to set the CV output at the corresponding step. Mode switches are found at each of the eight steps here. These assign the status of each step as on, off, or ADC. When a step is set to the on position, such as step one, a CV, trigger, and gate are output at each of the three outputs here at the bottom. Any two or more consecutive gates will merge as you progress through the eight step sequence. For steps set to the off position found in the middle, a value of zero volts is seen at the CV out. The attenuator found to the left of the CV out here allows you to control the overall range of your CV voltages. Next let's talk about the third mode found at each of the eight steps labeled ADC right at the bottom. This mode allows for a step's gate to be sent to the analog to digital converter. In this process, analog voltages are converted to a binary 8-bit pattern. A simpler way to understand this is a series of ones and zeros or on-off voltages. To make things more interesting, this pattern can be rearranged into 256 different combinations. You can monitor your pattern at the two LED arrays over on the left. The steps LED at the top indicates the current step of the sequence and whether a gate or trigger output is active at that step. The pattern LED at the bottom shows the pattern of the ADC 8-bit pattern. There are two ways to change the sequence of the 8-bit pattern. Using the manual offset here, changes the pattern. As you can see, the lights are kind of changing their orientation as you move it. The second method involves adjusting it via an external voltage at the PCV in here. PCV in is actually short for pattern control voltage over on the left. There is an attenuator to the right of that input that allows you to control the signal that's being input there. Since the ADC is most efficient in the range of 0 to 5 volts, the LEDs at the very bottom are going to allow you to get the optimum range, labeled less than 0 volts and greater than 5 volts. To take control of the signal you're inputting, use the attenuator and offset controls while monitoring the two lowest LEDs. There is also an output labeled PCV out here. This is going to allow you to output the process voltage and send it to another module in your Eurorack setup. Finally, over on the top left are two push buttons here. The top one labeled reset is to reset your sequence to step one. Or to advance your sequence, you can push the clock button, which will move you step by step when you're programming a melody or a bass line. There are also two CV inputs to the left of each one of those controls. The CV input to the left of reset allows you to reset the sequence to one with an external gate or trigger. And then probably the most important input to the left of the clock is going to allow you to input your clock signal that will adjust the tempo of your sequencer. Stay tuned to Modular Wild for a few demos of the Phonotronic MH11 ADC pattern sequencer. Thanks for watching.